For this example, we're gonna use the remainder theorem to find the remainder of our function when it's divided by x minus c. And then we're gonna use the factor theorem to determine whether x minus c is a factor of f of x uh, based on its definition. So th what the remainder theorem says is if you evaluate some function at some value of c, then that uh, function, once it's evaluated, uh, is just going to equal r, which is the remainder. So when you evaluate f at some value of c, whatever you get as a result, r, is just the remainder of if you were to take your function and divide by that factor. So we want to figure out um, what is the remainder of f of x when I divide it by x minus 2 in this situation. So when we divide by x minus 2, that means that this value here is c. So c is equal to positive 2. So we're going to evaluate our function at positive 2. What is f of 2? So we want to know what f of 2 is. So let's substitute 2 in for x everywhere. So we have 4 times 2 cubed uh, minus 3 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 4. So all of this is going to simplify to be what? So 4 times 8, uh, 2 cubed is 8, 4 times 8, that's 32. Uh, 3 times 4, so that's negative 12. 8 times 2, that's 16, so minus 16 plus 4. Uh, 32 minus 12, that's 20. Uh, 20, and that's negative 12. So 20 minus 12 is positive 8. So f of 2 is equal to 8. So when we evaluate our function at the x value of 2, we get a remainder of 8. So what does that tell us about x minus c? Uh, so if we use the factor theorem, the factor theorem says that uh, if we divide a polynomial function by some factor x minus c, then x minus c will be a factor of that polynomial function if and only if, when you evaluate your function at c, if and only if f of c is equal to zero. So basically using the remainder theorem, if we end up with a remainder of zero, that tells us that x minus c would be a factor of our function. So because f of two is not zero, right? Eight is not equal to zero. That implies that x minus two this is not a factor of f of x. It is not a factor of our function f of x. We can actually confirm that x minus 2 is not a factor of f of x by doing the polynomial long division. So if we take a look at uh, actually doing this long division, we can actually take, uh, we can actually see that x minus 2 is not a factor of it. So let's just confirm that here. So 4x cubed minus 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. We're going to divide this by x minus 2. So if you remember uh, polynomial long division, we really only care about the leading uh, the leading term, the term of highest degree, and the next term of highest degree in our uh, polynomial. So we ask ourselves, how many times does x go into 4x cubed? Well, I would have to multiply x by a 4x squared to get 4x cubed. And then I usually just line up my um, results with uh, based on their degree. So 4x squared. So when I multiply 4x squared by x, I get 4 x cubed and then 4x squared times a negative 2 is minus 8x squared and then we are going to subtract this this whole thing is being subtracted so this negative has to get distributed through so 4x cubed minus 4x squared those cancel and then the negative gets distributed through so this becomes a positive 8x squared so 3x squared plus 8x squared is going to be 5x squared and then we bring down the negative 8x, so minus 8x. 
And again, we ask ourselves, how many times does x go into 5x squared? Or what would I have to multiply x by to get a 5x squared? So I'd have to multiply by a positive 5x. So 5x times x, that's 5x squared. And then 5x times a negative 2, that's minus 10x. And then again, subtract this. So we're going to distribute the negative through. When we do this, these cancel. A uh, negative times a negative 10x is going to be a positive 10x. So 8x plus 10x, that's 2x. And then bring down your 4, so plus 4. Uh, and then lastly, again, ask yourself, what do I have to multiply x by to get a 2x? Well, that's going to be a positive 2. So 2 times x is 2x. And then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And subtract. Again, we're going to subtract these. So when we subtract, we get uh, 2x minus 2x is 0. And again, this negative gets distributed through. So this becomes a positive 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. And we can see now this uh, remainder here has a uh, is a lower degree than this here. So we know that x uh, can't go into it anymore. And we see that we get a remainder of 8, which is what we got when we just evaluated f at 2. Right? We had f of 2 equals 8. So we have a remainder here of 8 in this. So we have confirmed that x minus 2 is not a factor because it does not divide evenly into this here.